Bonjour, Émilie Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to tell you about what is in my 2023 daily camera bag. So let's get started. So, first of all, I have to say that there is something that's always with me, but never in my camera bag. That's true, that's a fact, because my main camera and my main lens, I never put them in a bag when I walk daily. Why? Because I want to be ready. I never know when a fox, an eagle are going to show up and I want to be able to just grab my camera and click. So for example, a few days ago, uh, I was out shopping and I just saw that bald eagle perch on a tree. I stopped and I started shooting because my camera was next to me on the passenger side. Uh, and that's very important. I don't even keep this on when uh, I go out of the house. I'm ready to shoot. I have my OM-1, that's my go-to camera, because I've been shooting with it for a year now. Yeah, they already said about a year ago. And it's been a dream. I haven't touched the Mark III or the EM-1X for a year now, they've been accumulating dust because this camera does everything I need. It's great for wildlife photographer with the uh, AI detection uh, and the speed. It's just, it's very, very impressive the number of frame I can take. I also love it because it's small. I can easily do macro, unlike the EM1X, it was a little too big, too big for me. Um, and this camera is just packed with feature. The computational technology, it's really, really impressive. So it's just a fun camera to have when you go out shooting. And then I have the 150-400, that's my dream lens. Yes, it is not a cheap lens, but it's cheaper than its competitors for other brands. And also it's, it's a pro lens. Um, and so if you don't have that budget, you can definitely, you know, replace the OM-1 by the OM-5, or you can even get a Mark III used for cheaper. And then for the 150-400, look at um, maybe the 100-400. Great lens, it's not a pro lens, but it's an excellent lens. And it's also smaller, a little smaller than the 150-400. So you will always find uh, your camera and your lens I feel with the OM system uh, range. There are so many different options. So yes, I'm showing you the pro option because I'm a professional photographer. Those are the tools, the gear that I use. And this always with me, never in my bag. Now let's take a look at what is in my camera bag. Some of you might say, Oh, hey, Emily, this is not the six liter Peak Design sling bag. You're right, that's a little bit bigger than the six liter indeed, because that's the 10 liter. Everything I have in this bag, minus my diffuser, will fit in the six liter. I only decided to upgrade to the 10 liter because I wanted to fit my diffuser in my bag and my diffuser breaks down. I try to carry it, you know, outside of my bag, but I'm very clumsy and it didn't work out. Um, so that's why I think it's better to put it inside, protect it. So when I do wildlife, it's there. I'm not going to damage it. And when I need it, I can take it out of my bag and it works very well. Now, for disclosure, the uh, 10 liter uh, Peak Design sling bag, they don't recommend it to wear it as a waist bag, but I do because I have really bad shoulders and so I don't want to carry something on my shoulders. And that's why I use uh, this, that's the Think Tank belt. And there's a little trick. So that's a little mode that I discover. You can actually put the belt uh, through here, through that space. Uh, it works on all the Peak Design sling bag. It is way more comfortable than the Peak Design, what they're selling it with. 
So I highly recommend this little do-it-yourself. It works very, very well. So I adapted it to the 10 liter, and now that's what I carry daily. So let's open it and see what is in my 2023 camera bag. First of all, water, because you need to stay hydrated. So I recycle a glass bottle and it is in my camera bag. I probably shouldn't just have a glass bottle, <laughs> but who knows? Uh, but I don't know. I like to recycle things, so that's what I have. Then moving along, I have uh, my flash. My flash is the uh, 700 uh, FL. That's the uh, Olympus actually brand, and it's a great little flash. Highly recommend it. And in this little pouch, there is my new favorite lens the 90 millimeter macro. I've been absolutely obsessed with this lens. The reach you're getting is absolutely incredible. So yes, this bag has transformed into quite the macro bag, I have to say. That's most of my gear right here is just for macro. Um, so that's the lens and the uh, flash uh, together. And then on the other side of the divider, uh, I have the 12 millimeter M Zuiko uh, Digital. It is a great lens to have in case I want to do some vlogging. And so that's why I just added it here. And then if I up open that flat, I have a blower. Just in case I have some dust, I can also use it on mushroom to clean the mushroom, make sure that my macro landscape is clean. And also I have the 1.4 teleconverter uh, because the 90 millimeter macro takes teleconverter and I can also use it for wildlife if I need more reach, which is not very often the case, but uh, here, 1.4 teleconverter. So that's it for the dividers. And then here um, they have this little pocket and that's usually where you put an iPad. And here that's where I put my diffuser. And this right here can hang uh, from uh, the flap so it doesn't you know, injure my diffuser. And then when I need my diffuser, I can just uh, set it up in just a few seconds. It's very, very fast. Also, if uh, I'm gone for the whole day, uh, I can also take my iPad and if I have some downtime, I can do a little bit of work. I can edit my photo on the go. So that's an option. But uh, really, most of the time when I do my daily walks, I don't take my iPad. So it's a bag that's even lighter. Now, what I love about Peak Design bags is that I'm not going to lose, you know, my lens or anything because of how the bag is designed. And you really have to open it here and then uh, you have more access. And actually, with this bag, I can even carry two bodies. So one on me and then I can add another OM1 with uh, my lens which I can't do on the six liter. So if I need two cameras, this is definitely uh, my bag. And then on that little pocket in front, I have a lot of things. First of all, uh, I have a little lens pen to clean my lens, you know, in case it gets dirty. Also in this pocket, I have the LSP5 and a dead cat. Um, when I'm out, I like to record sounds for my videos, uh, maybe the beavers or any other, you know, birds. So this is a great thing to have. Um, I actually forgot it a couple of days ago. The beaver was so active. That little beaver was having a temper tantrum. And I realized that I had left it on my desk because I was doing some other recordings and I really missed it. So from now on, I'm going to really check that I have this in my bag when I go out. Next, food. Because sometimes I go out for an hour and I come back six hours later. That's just what happens when you are a wildlife photographer. So I always have a cereal bar with me and also sometimes some candies. Also, an extra battery 
just in case. Most of the time, I mean, those batteries last quite a long time. I never had an issue, but just in case, I like to carry an extra battery. And I also have an extra SD card. I usually have 60 gigabyte, 128. It's just in case, the same. I never really filled my cards most of the time on my daily walks. Uh, I also have this, I love it. It's a wireless remote from OM system. And um, for macro, sometimes I just drop my camera on the uh, ground and then I set up everything and I can just remotely press the shutter. It's very good. Or if I'm doing vlogging, I need to set up my camera on a tree, start the recording. I can record it from far as well. So super small, I just, it's always in my bag as well for macro. And talking about macro, I always have a light. It is not a Loom Cube, uh, but uh, it's a Litra Cube. They don't do them anymore, but a Loom Cube also does those. And I have some little gels that I can add. Very fun to have when you're walking in the forest, when you're doing some macro. And I also have this little wrench, just if I need to, you know, tighten things uh, on my Peak Design capture clip. And I also have a little cloth also. So that's it. I really, really like that pocket. It's huge. I can fit so many things. And they also have those extra little pockets on the side, are very useful to, uh, you know, uh, carry my battery. Actually, one of my battery fits, my card, um, my little peak design wrench, and um, some cloth to clean my camera. So that's it for the inside of the bag, but there is one more pocket right here. And in this pocket, I have this cable for my camera to recharge my camera. I can, you know, recharge it uh, in my car, but I also have this, uh, power battery rechargeable. Uh, it works great. If I need to plug my cell phone, plug my camera, I can just plug it here and hook up my camera. So I really recommend to have just, you know, a way to charge all your electronic on the go. And that's what I have. I'm going to put the link to all those products below if you are interested. And if you have any questions on those, just, you know, put them below. And also in this pocket, I have my phone, that's the Peak Design wallet and stand, and that's also the Peak Design uh, case. It works very well. I love it. It has an age. I've had it for quite a long time now, and it works really, really well. So this is also always in my camera bag. And last but not least, I have this from Moo. Uh, those are my business cards because you never know who you are going to meet. And those are very fun. Um, they are different design. They're very small. Kids love them. <laughs> I think they like, they want to collect all those different pictures. And I really like them because you can show them the different type of work that you are doing. So always have your uh, cards with you. Great way to connect with uh, people. So that's it for my daily 2023 camera bag. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Uh, what camera bag are you using? What is in your 2023 camera bag? I feel like mine is really like brand new because of the 90 millimeter macro lens. So I want to know what, you know, your thoughts are. Uh, what are you doing differently in 2023 as a photographer? What are you carrying? Uh, how are you carrying things? I always try to think small and I know this is a little bit bigger, but everything can really fit in the six liter except for my diffuser. But gonna protect the diffuser. Light is very important. So it's okay if this bag is a little bit bigger because at the end it weighs about the same and it's pretty thin like i like the profile it doesn't uh it's, it's not big and bulky so this bag works very well thank you to hans for you know letting me uh try they actually uh, got two different colors and let me uh, try them at their store and that's the one that i decided to buy and uh yeah it it is exactly what I wanted. Can it be improved? Yes, bags can always be improved. Um, but for now, it works very well and I'm very satisfied with it. So 
Uh, I want to thank you all for joining today and I want to thank you for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber, it's never too late. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And I'm looking forward to this week's discussion and talking about this week's discussion. Actually, if some of you are interested, especially about the new 90 millimeter macro lens, I will be with Lisa Kuchara. I love Lisa Kuchara. I love her work. We often invited at my camera club to judge for us. Her work is so inspiring. Uh, so if you don't know her, uh, I'm going to put uh, Instagram right below. Go and check what she has done with the 90 millimeter macro. Those frog photos. Amazing. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, talking with her and Michala at 6 p.m. on Thursday. We'll be live. We'll be showing you some of our photos with the new 90 millimeter macro and we'll take any questions that you have. So I hope you tuned in and uh, until next week, happy shooting. Au revoir.